You want to know the difference between these people who are digging themselves out of the rubble right now with Hurricane Helene and most other people in the world? I'll tell you the difference. Uh, in 1981, Hank Williams Jr. put out a song called A Country Boy Can't Survive. You should go listen to that. A few years ago, I put out a video that said, contrary to what you judgmental, overeducated, loudmouth, snooty people think about Southern Americans, by and large, we don't give a fresh damn what opinion you got from your lobotomized college professor. Now, in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene, there's a lot of people talking about government assistance, a lot of people pissed off, but I want you to make no mistake about this. The people that are digging themselves out of the rubble in the South, they don't care about the $750. What they do care about is the fact that they gave it to somebody else that should have never been here in the first place. That pisses us off, sort of like a wife, you know, that gets mad at her husband when he gives her diamonds to his mistress. Now, there are those that would say the South deserves this because of the their history. I'm going to remind you, one, you're dumb. Two, hurricanes don't discriminate on the basis of skin tone, and every shade of melanin has been affected by this. So when you're going through challenge, uh, you know, challenges and tragedy, you don't really think about white, black, yellow, red, whatever. You call them neighbors. Now, there's people out there with everything from a helicopter to a drone to goats and mules that are working around the clock knowing that the government's useless, worthless, and if they get out of the damn way, their efforts will be far more effective than the bureaucratic bullshit in the boxes that apparently have to be checked before somebody out there can get a federally issued bowl of soup. So while you urbanites in your overblown intellectual bubbles look down your nose at the good old boys in their blue jeans and their overalls and their four-wheelers, boats, and trucks, it might be wise to remember that while you walk the aisles of Forever 21, that the streetwise hood rats and the backwoods hillbillies are going to be there long after you're gone and your university diplomas in a landfill that they buried with a backhoe. So while you simp for the government, suckle on the tits of the overpromising, never delivering politicians, real Americans, they're gonna be out there taking care of themselves and each other. So wisen up, folks. That's the narrative. I love you. God bless.